What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and this is going to be a fast and fun video about how I filmed the hilarious music video for the band Evil Owl for their track Loose Wheel. Now I know this is not going to be one of those videos that the Google algorithm loves and that's cool, I'm making this knowing that it's going to have a lower view count, I'm fine with that. This is a video for the subscribers of this channel that never miss a video because you're the ones that mean the most to me. I don't want to make videos that the algorithm loves because it's videos like this that tend to be more unique and contain the most nuggets of interesting information. So screw the algorithm and I hope you enjoy this indulgent video. I didn't mean that Google. All hail the algorithm. Evil Al are a cool three-piece band from the West Country of the UK. For my non-UK viewers, the West Country is an area where a lot of people speak like Hagrid from the Harry Potter films. The style of music they play is rock with energy, but still weirdly with a kind of relaxed, laid-back attitude. It's been said that they... hang on, let me read this. They are oven-ready Jesus lizard wannabes that play mostly the same notes as Caius and the Melvins but not necessarily in the same order. So, good. I'm, I'm glad I explained all that to you. Now, that should be crystal clear. The concept of this video was to get the band in Evil Knievel suits, grab anything that had wheels, skateboards, bikes, trikes, you name it, and then shoot. The mantra we had was, if it's not fun or funny to film, then it's not gonna get filmed. In terms of a shot list for the band, other than the band actually playing, obviously, we had a few things that we specifically wanted to get. Firstly, there was this ridiculous stunt shot with the toy Evil Knievel doing the dangerous part. Then there was the high five orbit, which I love. I also wanted to get a few walk and follow shots of the band in a few different locations. Other than that, we just did lots of improvising on the spot just to see what made us laugh. Shots like this one of the singer in the boot of his car, this sequence of the singer chasing his two bandmates down a creepy alleyway, the whole guitar solo section which is clearly poking fun at certain 80s music videos. All of these, plus loads more, were just improvised at the time. The bulk of the filming was done in and around Axe and Trap Studios in Wells, UK. We wanted a mix of swanky looking recording studio shots and intentionally crappy looking nothingy wasteland shots. It just gave a really nice contrast of having these two disparate locations. Gear-wise, I kept things incredibly simple. I shot the whole thing on a Sony a7S III only and a Xeon Crane Weebill gimbal. That's right, 100% gimbal for this video. No uh, tripod, no slider, no hand holding. For lenses, I ended up using just one prime lens for every single shot bar one, and that was the Sony 20mm f1.8. I chose this because it's lightweight, it's fast at f1.8, plus it's wide so that you feel that you're in the action, but not too wide that it feels kind of fisheye-ish. The only other lens I used was the Sigma 35mm Art f1.4, which I'm actually filming on right now, and that was for the shot in the studio of the band, just to give it a slightly different aesthetic. Moving on to the techniques used in this video, and firstly, the high five orbit, which is two shots joined with a flash transition. The first one of the band jumping up to high five is 120p slow motion, and the second where I had the band hold the high five whilst I orbited was in 24p. Then in post I added extra stabilization, added a directional blur to sell the feeling of circling at speed, then sped the clip up. It's kind of like a really crap version of bullet time and I love it. I did lots of walk and follow shots in this video and if you've ever shot these you'll know that the subject usually needs quite a bit of direction just to keep them the correct distance to keep the frame looking you know interesting and good. Here's a little behind the scenes of, of what that looks like. And hunker down a bit yeah. Ben look like you're pushing. That's good. Okay more of that, more of that. Give him a push. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly chirping at the talent when filming music videos. Hopefully they don't find it annoying, it's got to be done. Moving on to colour grading, and the band wanted warmth, and I hesitate to use the word vintage, but you get the point, and plenty of contrast. Here's what I did. I shot the whole thing in S-Log 3. 
I then applied color and exposure corrections. I then added a conversion lookup table. In this case, it was the Phantom Ari neutral lookup table. I then added a hint of a style lookup table, and this is actually from the second of the Velicor lookup tables, which I really like. Both of those packs are linked below. I really love both of them. Do check them out. I then added a hint of vignette, just because I shot a lot of it with the subject center frame, and this helped to draw the eye. And I then added widescreen bars, and I had planned to add these even before shooting, so I knew that I had to shoot just a touch wider to compensate for this. So that's it. Of course, you should watch the music video because it's a really cool song and there are lots of other details in it that I haven't even mentioned. That's linked below, of course, and I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. If you did, it would really mean the world to me if you could tell that algorithm that this is, is actually good content. And the way that you can do that is just by hitting the like button. It means the world to me. Many thanks. I've now made hundreds of videos about videography and audio on this channel, of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you, and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. Leave it to you to give me another choice While the buildings crumble, humble the mind by the way you embrace And when I find you sinking out of sight